Hi, I'm attorney Robert Peters and I'm here to discuss with you uncontested divorces. First, what is an uncontested divorce? Well, an uncontested divorce is where you sit down with your spouse and work out the dissolution of your marriage. You would sit down with your spouse and discuss who's going to have primary custody of the children, how the child support is going to be paid, how the assets of the marriage are going to be uh, distributed, how the debts of the marriage are going to be distributed. It's really it's it's the it's the creation it's the dissolution of your marital bonds but it's it's the building of a a marital settlement agreement or a contract to dissolve your marriage and let me give you five reasons why i think an uncontested divorce is in your best interest first you're in control if you get a contested divorce the attorneys and the judges or the judge is in control of what happens in your case with an uncontested divorce you can pretty much set whatever parameters you and your husband or you and your spouse can agree on. Um, the second reason that I think a, an uncontested divorce is in your best interest is is that it's 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 in the best interest of your children because if you and your spouse can agree on how to dissolve your marriage in an amicable, you know, friendly sort of way, you've really reduced the emotional burden on your children, and that's what most people. Are looking for is, is a way to minimize the impact on the children. I think uncontested divorce definitely does that for folks. Uh, the third reason you want to do it is it's much faster than a than a contested divorce. Contested divorce can take anywhere from at least six months to a year, eighteen months, twenty-four months. Uh, you can do an uncontested divorce if you can work out the terms with your spouse. You can be divorced in. 45, 60, 90 days. There's no reason it should take any longer than that. The way it works is you, you one of the parties comes to me and I become their attorney. You lay out for me the terms that you've agreed to with your spouse. I write those up, prepare them in a format that, that, that's acceptable to the court. Um, we go over that in great detail. Then they're sent off to the, uh, to the other party to sign. Um, once those come back, they are sent over to the courthouse. Uh, some judges will sign off on the divorce without us appearing in court. Some require that you appear in court. Um, the last reason that you that that, that you you might want to consider an uncontested divorce is the expense. A contested divorce, most attorneys require a retainer of twenty five hundred dollars, and that's on each side. That's just the ante to get into the uh, to get into the game. And normally it runs much higher. And the, and the problem with contested divorces, much like a, an argument, is it can escalate. Their attorney says something, your attorney says something, and all of a sudden the animosity and the and the discord increases immensely, and the price. So with an uncontested divorce, we're talking seven hundred and fifty to maybe fifteen hundred dollars to get you divorced, um, and in a short period of time with a contested divorce, you're talking twenty five hundred dollars. Uh, up to tens of thousands of dollars. Um, if you need help with an uncontested divorce, please call me in Jacksonville at 421-6907 and in Fernandina Beach at 491-1083. You can find me at my website www.restartyourlifejax.com. Thank you.